Hey folks, my name is Ravish and welcome back to another video in the series of DevOps real-time interviews. Now, we have a profile with us. This person was around uh, four to five years of experience in IT, but around two to three years of experience in DevOps and cloud-related services. This video is an excerpt of a larger part. And in this excerpt, we have concentrated only on Ansible. So this video would be around 10 to 12 minutes long. And in this video, we are going to ask questions related to Ansible only, all right? In between, I have also uh, given my opinion on the answers and what i would have answered if someone would have asked me the same question all right so um again i would like to request that please do subscribe the, to the channel if you are newer here and if you are watching this video on any other platform like telegram instagram twitter or any other social media please check out the pinned comment please check out what we have given in the description section for the main video all right so without further ado let's get started So um, I can see in your uh, profile that you have worked on uh, uh, Ansible as well, right? Yes. Okay. So um, I'll start uh, with Ansible then. Uh -huh. uh, so we all know that Ansible is configuration management tool, right? Um, yeah. What is something that differs it from other uh, configuration management tools? Ansible has modules. Uh, modules that are already um, included by default. Mm -hmm. uh, other modules are uh, written by the community. Okay. Um, in Ansible, you can have uh, reusable roles uh, to do uh, multiple tasks. For example, install some tools, uh, configure um, a machine some way. Um, and it could be variableized depending on the platform, for example, something to install on Debian as well as Red Hat, as well as different distros or different uh, operating systems. Um, yeah. Okay. 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 Um, so, when you use Ansible, Ansible is um, uh, most part of it. It's talking to the target host, uh, the communication part. How do you think yeah. this Ansible ensures security uh, during this communication with target hosts? SSH. It's using SSH to communicate with the okay. rest of the systems. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah, basically encrypted uh, data transmission. So or secure WinRM in case of Windows. Sorry? Or uh, secure WinRM in case of Windows. Okay, okay, okay. Or you can use open SSH. <laughs> yeah, okay, okay. okay. Um, so you were talking about uh, Ansible modules, right? Uh, can yes. you just walk me through like what exactly Ansible module is and uh, how have you used in your project? Ansible modules are uh, the building blocks of Ansible. Uh, so a module can uh, let you do uh, something specific like uh, a cat module or uh, edit a file uh, and you give it arguments. Um, uh, module can help you uh, change an occurrence of a uh, of a string in a file. You just give it the string you want to replace and then you replace it. Um, a module can be uh, a yum, for example, to install packages uh, for yum package management. Yeah. Could be anything, uh, any uh, atomic action. Okay, okay. So uh, generally, when you work on uh, Ansible, mm, do you use more of a playbook or ad hoc commands? A playbook. Playbook. Okay. So okay. Um, why do we have then ad hoc commands? Uh, if you wanted to test something quickly, <coughs> or. To, uh, yeah, more for testing, I guess. But uh, uh, it's not, uh, how do I say, it's not uh, recommended to use ad hoc commands. Mm -hmm. It's more recommended to have a playbook so that the configuration is, uh, is as good. You don't have to uh, redo your configuration. It's also uh, variable. You can include variables in there. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. 
so basically if you want to do something as you said that that happens quickly you want to test so those are one liners while playbook would right. be a structured file yes it's yes. not recommended but uh, a lot of people do that just to test uh, uh, quickly yeah okay so uh, in your uh, recent experience uh, how do you handle errors or exceptions uh, in the ansible playbooks yeah you can catch errors uh, you can ignore errors in some steps and uh, you can have um, in, in when you catch errors you can have steps that would run in case an error happens a type of error happens you can catch it and then you can run a step that in that case or you can do a cleanup or okay so there is something known as ignore errors uh, what does it stand for uh it's a step that if an error happens you can just ignore it and make it uh, like make it look like it it passed and then continue your playbook continue the execution because if an error happens the playbook will stop and mm -hmm. will not finish the execution so ignoring the error will make it continue the execution of the whole playbook okay okay uh, so Ansible also has a mechanism of uh, managing the sensitive information. Uh, have you ever come across that? Have you ever worked on it? Uh, Ansible Vault? Yes. Yeah, um, briefly, but uh, yeah, I've seen it where you can encrypt your um, secrets and then you can use it uh, afterwards in your playbook. Okay, okay. Um, how do we use uh, Ansible facts? Ansible facts gather uh, information about the system you're executing your uh, playbook on, um, or uh, sets uh, an inform a variable, for example, for the rest of the playbook. You can set facts mm -hmm. and say, this variable has this value for the rest of the playbook or um, you can gather facts from the system uh, for example system information uh, this is uh, where this variable is or this is wh whatever the information is yeah, basically this, that's it. okay okay so basically it collects uh, uh, variables collected from remote hosts hosts basically um, it, they are actually system properties um, and I think uh, they provide information about the host characteristics uh, so that uh, you can use them in playbooks. Yeah. Okay. Like the okay. OS platform, the distribution. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Okay. Um, so uh, let's say I have a playbook. Okay. And uh, there are multiple tasks uh, inside it. I want to manage the order of execution. How do I do that? If it's in a playbook, just the order that you write it in is going to be the order that's executed in it. Okay, so then why, why do we have serial keyword? Why do we have? Serial keyword. We have a serial keyword, right? S-E-R-I-A-L. Um, uh, um, I haven't used that. Okay, no problem. It's, it's generally used to manage the order of execution for tasks. But you can take a look uh, on that. Okay, uh, mm, so if I want to organize and structure my playbook, uh, uh, w what are the provisions that uh, we have in Ansible? We have uh, roles that you can use, and in that you can have it uh, structured and organized. You have your tasks, you have your handlers, and you have your uh, different section environments, and um, uh, basically, that way you can include multiple ways of doing the same thing. For example, if you have uh, something installing on different distributions, you can have a task for doing it in each distribution. And uh, in your uh, main, you can say if, put the ifs uh, uh, when reading the facts on wh which task is going to run and which, which file is going to be used. Okay, okay. Um, what is the dynamic inventory in Ansible? 
um, it will go and fetch the hosts uh, that are uh, that your host is gonna your playbook is gonna run on or your role is gonna run on. Um, you have multiple mechanisms mm -hmm. of uh, uh, dynamic inventory. Um, uh, but yeah, basically, every time it's going to look for the hosts that are going to be in the inventory. Okay, okay. Um, I mean, it allows you to uh, fetch inventory details from external sources like uh, databases, yeah. cloud providers, and custom scripts yeah. or something. Okay, okay, okay. Um, You were talking about Win WinRM, right? <coughs> Windows Remote Management. So, uh, based on that, how do you think Ansible handles Windows systems? Uh, it has different modules for Windows systems. So, you always have to look for the... Um, if you start working on Linux, uh, you are used to a list of modules that are defaults. You always have to look uh, at the uh, uh, Windows version, but uh, yeah, there are specific Windows modules for Ansible, uh, for um, Windows, uh, because the OS is different, the architecture is different. Okay, okay, okay. Uh, 